All right, let's talk about faulty geography. This is a claim that's been made that in Mark 7.31, the author of the second gospel, whom I will just refer to as Mark, um, makes, makes a geographical error and thereby betrays his lack of knowledge of Palestine. Uh, so here's the claim. It's just a, a stray bit of Jesus' itinerary, right? A very boring thing. You have never heard a sermon preached on Mark 7.31. Then he, it's Jesus, returned from the region of Tyre and went through Sidon to the Sea of Galilee in the region of the Decapolis. Hard to find inspiring words to say about that little bit of Jesus' travel itinerary. But there's an interesting problem. Here's the problem. If we glance at a map, you see that Tyre is here, Sidon is here, and the region of the Decapolis is down here. Now, if you were going to go from Tyre to the region of the Decapolis, why wouldn't you go straight down to the Decapolis? Why would you go north to go south? I suppose we could say, well, maybe Jesus had some reason he wanted to go to Sidon. But you know, and I know, what the New Testament critics would say if you made such a lame shift at an explanation. Oh, you're just going to do anything to harmonize this and to make it come out right. Come on, be a serious scholar. Admit that Mark just doesn't know what he's talking about. And in fact, many commentators have said just that. So here's uh, from a commentary about a decade ago, Adam Wynn, The Purpose of Mark's Gospel. Many interpreters have noted this awkward route as evidence that Mark was unfamiliar with the geography of Palestine and Galilee. It seems difficult to believe that a person living in Galilee who is educated enough to produce such a gospel as Mark would be unfamiliar with the geographical relationship between Tyre and Sidon. I love it when modern biblical critics lead with their chin. This is a boxing term. Uh, so, right, these people sitting at their library tables in Tubingen which are nice and flat and rolling out their nice flat maps and tracing lines in two dimensions. Let's, uh, let's go beyond that, shall we? Here's a topographical map of Palestine. Here's Tyre, here's Sidon. Oh, oh, what's this orange stuff in here? Oh, 1208, that's meters, okay? And, and what's this? Well, this is right down here by the Sea of Kinneret, or of Galilee. This is a negative 210. That's 210 meters below sea level. The Sea of Galilee is the world's lowest freshwater lake. How many of you have done any climbing around in mountains? Anybody like to do some hiking? Right. So let me tell you what it's like and stop me when I get it wrong. You start at the base of the mountain and you look up at a point at the top and you say, that's where I want to go. And then you just march straight up the mountain, up to the top, and then right over, right? Is that how it works? Uh, yeah, right, nine. <laughs> Not how it works. Any serious rough terrain, you're going to be doing switchbacks. You'll come to a thicket that you've got to go around. It's very hard to ascend a mountain that doesn't have a nice paved road going right over the crown, right? Uh, but, but, sorry, the orange, where am I going? I'm, I'm going here, yeah. The orange region here. Uh, that seems to thin out right about there, and then it gets really severe as we go to the Golan Heights and stuff up in this region. But th there's this little region right here where we're coming over to the Jordan River. Oh, that's an elevation of just 70 meters. And, and what's the elevation here at the coastline? It is sea level. Zero is the elevation at sea level, right? So it, to go from, uh, from zero to 70 doesn't seem too bad if you go up here around the shoulder of this mountain. Plus, you'll notice there's a little rivulet coming in here. You'll have some water, that rivulet is running to the sea, of course, not back from it. So you'll have fresh water all the way down the Jordan River Valley till you reach your destination. And if you've done much hiking in an arid climate, you'll understand that water actually matters. This is just a picture of Mount Meron today. Notice the northern shoulder of it dropping down to present a much less formidable obstacle for those who uh, want to cross it. No further comment seems necessary. I think Mark actually knew the geography of Palestine. Thank you. 